if you're over the age of 30, you may remember riding the Zambezi Zinger at Worlds of Fun. And this morning, we have learned the ride is coming back. Just reimagined. Oh. Maybe a little All right. safer. Well, let's <laughs> get out to Matt Stewart. He's live at Worlds of Fun with the details on this big announcement. What's happening, Matt? Good morning. This is huge news. I mean, Worlds of Fun hasn't built a new roller coaster since 2009. That was the Prowler. Uh, and when you think about that Zambezi Zinger, anyone who's been here back in the 80s and 90s, they remember that ride well. The original is actually in Colombia, South America. It's still in use. This new one that they're going to build is going to be reimagined with some improvements to make it more fun and safer. Worlds of Fun sent us this video rendering of what it will feel like to ride the new Zambezi Zinger. Like the original, it will start with a spiral lift, or corkscrew as they call it, before it picks up speed and zooms along the track, tilting and turning along the way. Called a speed racer, the Zambezi Zinger was one of the first roller coasters here when Worlds of Fun opened back in 1973. It was truly old school, as riders sat in each other's laps without seatbelts or lap bars. While it was a fan favorite, the park dismantled it in 1997 and sold it. The Dinosaurs Alive exhibit now sits where the Zinger once stood. But now, to celebrate the park's 50th anniversary, it's coming back. This offseason, they will build the new Zinger in the same place, using steel and wood to create a ride similar to the original. Worlds of Fun also plans to host 50 Nights of Fire next summer, where they will have a nightly concert with pyrotechnics. And they will introduce a passport adventure, where families can better explore all the different parts of the park. So a quick history lesson for you. Lamar Hunt, the founder of the Chiefs, actually financed and built Worlds of Fun as a gift to the city. So it opened in 1973, and he chose Around the World in 80 Days as the park's theme. That's why you see the hot air balloon, right, from the Jules Verne novel. Uh, so the passport really is a novel idea when you think about it going from country to country within the amusement park itself. Now, as for the Zambezi Zinger, we're going to talk with the general manager in our next hour, find the details. When are they going to start building it? Will it be open in time for the park to open next year? Uh, should be exciting, though, to get on this new ride, a new roller coaster here at Worlds of Fun, guys. Okay, Matt, so you were, you're an Omahaan. I'm an Omahaan. So, like... Worlds of Fun was a big deal. You'd come down to Worlds of Fun, you'd ride the Zambezi oh, Zinger. Yeah. This brings back memories for us. Yep. Now, but Pat, yeah. did, you, you never probably came around these parts. I didn't make it to Kansas it City in the uh -huh. 80s. Sure, right. You know? uh, but I do find it interesting, Matt, how all roads seem to lead back to Lamar Hunt eventually. So true. Like. That is so true. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks, Matt.